Welcome to this video on the coefficient of drag. In this video, we will look at what coefficient of drag is and how it can be reduced. We will look at how coefficient of drag of automobiles has changed over time. And most interestingly, we will reveal one of the biggest mistakes of the US auto industry that turned them from leaders to laggards. On this channel, Synergy Files, we aim to inspire budding engineers and technologists to progress towards a better, more sustainable world. So please do subscribe to the channel to stay informed. We begin with a hidden chapter in the history of automotive engineering. In the year 2001, something strange happened that with the benefit of hindsight can be said to be one of the biggest mistakes made by the big three car manufacturers in the US, namely Ford, Chrysler, and GM. To learn what happened, we have to go back to the year 1993 when major auto corporation and the US government entered into a partnership called PNGV or Partnership for New Generation of Vehicles. One of the goals set for this collaborative venture was to produce vehicles that could achieve fuel efficiency of over 90 miles per gallon. Although it was an extremely challenging target, particularly for gas-guzzling car producers, but by the year 2000, the big three not only met the goal but smashed it. All three of them produced cars that went beyond the 90 miles per gallon target. GM rolled out the precept, Ford produced the Prodigy, and Chrysler launched the ESX-3. These cars were engineered to the nth degree. GM Precept reached fuel economy of 108 miles per gallon, which remains a record for a sedan. One big reason the big three were able to smash the target was because of exceptionally low coefficient of drag value for the cars. Unfortunately, these cars were never rolled out despite being designed for mass production. The partnership PNGV was dissolved in 2001. The sorry excuse given for pulling the plug was that USA has no interest in high fuel economy cars. This decision was to prove a setback for the big three. They lost almost one decade of progress and they have been playing catch up since. So what is coefficient of drag? The coefficient of drag is a measure of aerodynamism or the degree of streamlining of a body. The lower its value, the more aerodynamic a body is. The higher its value, the more blunt a body is. We will refer to coefficient of drag as CD in short. It should be noted that coefficient of drag is only dependent upon the shape of the body and not its size. A low CD value indicates a profile that will move through a fluid with small amount of resisting force. Hence, having the right shape in a car is important because a high drag coefficient value results in high drag force on the body, which in turn will result in higher fuel consumption. There are a wide variety of car shapes. Some are more streamlined than the others. And as a result, the fuel economy varies for the same engine size. To dive deeper into the concept, let's look at forces acting on an automobile. There are three main forces on an automobile. Number one, the rolling resistance, that is the friction force between the tire and the tarmac. Number two, the drag force. And number three, the internal resistance, that is the friction between the piston sleeve, bearing, differential, and CV joint. At lower speeds, the rolling resistance and the internal resistance are relatively significant. At higher speeds though, the drag force dominates and almost all the power generated by the engine goes in overcoming the drag force. For cars at highway speeds, that is at 70 miles per hour or above, more than 80% of the engine's output is consumed in overcoming the drag force alone. Therefore, Having a lower coefficient of drag value can make a significant difference in fuel economy. For example, the Volvo V70 has a coefficient of drag of 0 0.30, while the Tesla Model S has a CD of 0 0.24, making the Tesla 20% more fuel economical based on the shape alone. Now that we have introduced the coefficient of drag, we will look at how car shapes have evolved over time. 
history of car shapes. We begin with the Ford Model T that was launched in the 1908. Earliest cars were box shaped and had an open top. This meant that they had a higher coefficient of drag. In fact, the CD value recorded for the Model T was 0 0.6. As the Model T was slow, having a top speed of 45 miles per hour and driven mostly at lower speeds, the drag coefficient did not come into play. Engineers, however, soon realized the importance of this factor. Streamlined process began to take shape as the car speed improved from 40 to 90 miles per hour. It is remarkable that even as early as the 1930s, Czechoslovakian engineers had mastered the art of streamlining a car. They rolled out the Tatra T77 in 1934 and to this day the car has one of the lowest coefficient of drag value for a sedan that is 0.21. The gradual tapering of the car body at the rear end was favorable from a flow point of view and that brought forward the idea of trunk space at the back. Moving forward in time, we noticed that as oil became more and more accessible, car shapes no longer were designed on efficiency, but on style. In the 1980s, the car became boxier and edgy. Thankfully, the trend did not last, and more rounded and smooth panel cars started appearing again in the 1990s. Today, many customers look at fuel economy when purchasing a car. Consequently, CD values have gone down. So let's explore how coefficient of drag can be lowered. For this it is important to understand what shapes are the best for the cars, what profiles have the lowest and what shapes have the highest coefficient of drag. The lowest drag coefficient is that of a teardrop or a raindrop. It has a CD value of 0.04. The teardrop can be impractical shape to follow for an automobile. So half teardrop shape is the next best option, which also has a much lower CD value that is 0 0.09. There have been cars made to match the half teardrop shape. These cars mostly include the solar cars that have completed the World Solar Challenge race in Australia. Examples of these cars are the GM Sunracer and the Tokai Challenger. The worst shape with respect to CD are the ones which have their side with the biggest area facing the direction of flow. So shape like cube have a CD of 1.05. A flat plate perpendicular to the direction of flow has a CD between 1.98 to 2. You can feel a high amount of force on your hand when you place your palm just outside the window in a moving car in an upright position. And that goes to tell you about the coefficient of drag. The best example of an aerodynamic car would be again the GM Precept that was mentioned earlier in the video. It had a CD value of only 0 0.163 that is almost half the value compared to other cars in its category. So how was GM able to achieve this? Well, they removed the wing mirrors and replaced them with a camera for rear view. They removed the door handles. They covered the rear wheels. They placed a flat plate underbody metal plate to cover the protrusions at the base of the car. They also made an air duct from the front to the back to reduce the stagnation up front and fill the wake region. And they also had a gradual tapering at the back end in the body to reduce the adverse pressure gradient and delay the boundary layer separation. You can watch the clip from the program Top Gear, the episode where Sabine Schmitz modifies the transit van to raise Jeremy Clarkson. The modifications were made to reduce the CD value. Link will be given in the description. You can also find a link that will take you to a page where coefficient of drag for most vehicles are listed. Today, even trucks and lorries are shaped to be more aerodynamic. The shape change has been saving the transport and logistics industry millions of dollars every year. In modern lorries, one can observe that roof fairings are essential and the container at the back have a gradual taper feature. People are coming up with their own contraption to lower the coefficient of drag. This mostly includes attaching cardboard flaps at the rear. These flaps are attached to trucks and hatchbacks and the idea is to make the car shape 
a gradual taper at the back instead of a sharp bending profile. This delays the air separation and creates a smaller wake. You can also reduce the drag force and improve fuel economy by driving slowly. It has been suggested that depending upon the make of the car, one can save 20% more fuel on highway by driving at 50 miles per hour instead of 70 miles per hour. And with this, the video on coefficient of drag is concluded. We hope it was informative and enjoyable. Help us grow the channel by subscribing to it. If you think someone could benefit from this video, then please do share it. Thank you for your time and attention.